All right. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Hi. All right. I'm going to get started here in a second. Not sure who's out there. Say hi. I can see Instagram who's out there. I can't see on the FB or the YouTube who's out there. But hi, friends. And uh, let's see here. Let's see. Boob doing time. This is exciting. I wore my Boob Dylan costume from um, the first Boob Dylan that we did, which was a good time. And uh, so here I am doing it again. And uh, I might not be able to see all your comments at once because I have to have my little list pulled up over here for part of the time. But I think I can, I think I can maneuver this situation. Hi, Anne. All right. I'm going to kind of keep getting myself situated here while everyone gets comfortable with whatever you have on hand and whoever you have on hand. <laughs> I'm going to play a bunch of songs for you that I wrote, um, inspired by Bob Dylan's wonderful songs. Um, can everyone hear me okay who is uh, listening out there? I've got this new mic situation going on, and, uh, and I want to make sure it is audible. <laughs> I hope I'm audible. I'm going to go with yes, I'm audible. I can hear me. All right. Well, cheers to whoever is uh, enjoying or not enjoying their Sunday night quarantine. Hopefully this will uh, <laughs> make it a little bit easier to bear. All of these songs that I'm playing tonight were originally, were originally written for a show called Boob Dylan. And um, the show is intended as a benefit for, uh, for breast cancer uh, survivors in general, but specifically um, the proceeds tonight are going to go to Kaya Cochran, who is a wonderful human being and a great friend who's been uh, dealing with uh, cancer for a while now and is treating it. So um, instead of donating to me, there's a link um, in the description on Facebook and YouTube, and there's a, a link in my bio on Instagram. I'm pointing over here. I still have two cameras going on tonight. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, there are links to donate to Kaya's fund. And I hope that you will do that as the evening goes on, whether you do or do not like what you hear. <laughs> so I'm sitting kind of far back from the screen, so I might not see comments and such, but... Anywho, um, I hope you're all doing really well out there, and uh, I hope everyone is as healthy as possible, as healthy as can be expected, and, uh, oh, hey, Dylan, 
Oh, hey, April. Hey. Oh, this is like the beginning. This is every. I get to I get to say hi to you if you say hi to me on the screen, just so you know. So I want to know who is out there so that I can feel I can imagine your faces in front of me. Um, because it does feel a little bit weird to play songs to an empty room. But you all are, you know, a wonderful room out there. <laughs> and uh, and I, I, you know, I'll just. I'll just imagine all of your wonderful faces here. Uh, and yeah, okay, so, so Boob Dylan. Boob Dylan originated as uh, a breast cancer benefit, but it first originated as like, how about let's, um, let's write some uh, funny, you know, parodies of Bob songs. Because the thing with Bob is that I thought about love uh, at least I love his music, but he, as a human being, has um, you know could could use a little little uh, um, revamping. <laughs> the older I got, and the more I learned about Bob, the more I was like, you know, Bob wasn't super great to the ladies, is or isn't is he, and hasn't been and wasn't been. Oh, hi, people saying hi, Eric, Drew. Kathleen, hi, hi, hi. Um, and uh, yeah, so I decided, you know, it would be fun to write some songs. And um, the song sort of developed over the years. And uh, I think the first one was about five or six years ago. Um, and I believe it was um, my friend Mimi, uh, who, uh, Mimi Naja, who suggested the first title of the first song, which I will tell you when we get to it. Um, and uh, she she came up with the most brilliant title that I was like, well, yes, we have to do that. And so I wrote that one. And then, um, and then the rest of them just sort of came out, um, you know, as they wanted to. So we'll start. The first one I'm going to play for you is not blowing in the wind. But uh, my dear friend, Anella Lauren, who plays a bitchin' harp, uh, she and I were having coffee one morning and talking about uh, the show that I had just decided to do. Finally booked it. The first one we did was in 2018. And, um, and we said we should write a Boob Dylan song. And so we did. We went back to my house and uh, we came up with this song, which is not blowing in the wind. Must a girl go down on before she calls one her man? Yes, and how many times must a girl ride the rail before she sleeps with the band? Yes, and how many times must some random balls fly in her face in the back of the van? The answer, my friend, is lowering your standards. The answer is lowering them again. How many shots can one woman take before she drops to 
her knees. Yes, and how many fears can one woman chug before she's too sloshed to see? Yes, and how many times can a girl turn her head, pretending she's not with a sleeve? The answer, my friend, is lowering your standards. The answer is lowering them again. I hope the kids are in bed. I should have said that when we started. Whoops. How many times must a girl look up to avoid getting calm in her eye? Yes, and how much bullshit can one woman hear before she starts calling it lies? Yes, and how many times will she fake it till she knows she's finally lost all her pride? The answer, my friend, is lowering your standards. The answer is lowering them again. The answer, my friend, is lowering your standards. The answer is lowering them again. So now you all know what you're in for. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. Trying to keep up with all the wonderful things that you're saying over here so that I can let you know if you're doing a good job um, heckling and or, you know, supporting one or the other. Uh, so far, everything is going great. <laughs> So, so yeah, um, lowering your standards. That's, uh, I feel like, you know, Bob would have totally written that, right? Maybe not. Um, the next song is the first, the first song that, um, the first, this was the first Boob Dylan song that came into being. Um, I don't know if, uh, I think, I think Mimi just popped this out of her brain, like a, a brilliant person. Um, but I was like, oh, I should, should write songs, you know, Bob Dylan parodies called Boob Dylan. I think it was going to be like a Bob Dylan parody band. That's what it was going to be. And we were going to call it Boob Dylan. And she was like, oh, you should write Knockers on Heaven's Whores. So um, if you want to sing along at home... Instead of ooze, we're going to sing boobs. Sing it as beautifully as possible, too, if you're going to sing along at home. I trust you will.
Mama, take these pants off of me. I can't wear them anymore. I'm getting hot, as you can see. Thinking about knockers on heaven's horns. You know the chorus. Knock, knock, knockers on heaven's horns. 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 Mama, when they put me in the ground, I will fly up to the clouds Big and small and soft and round Talking about knockers on heaven's horns Knock, knock, knockers on heaven's horns Knock, knock, knockers on heaven's horns. Knock, knock, knockers on heaven's horns. Knock, knock, knockers on heaven's horns. at home. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like Heaven's Horus would have like really, really good pay and benefits. You know, I feel like Heaven's Whores would have medical insurance um, and, you know, social safety nets and um, be completely legitimized and would never have to deal with oppression from the patriarchy, right? Here's to Heaven's Whores. Where did I put my capo? There it is. <laughs> Friends, are you having fun out there? I hope. The point of Boob Dylan is supposed to be fun. Fun and thinking at the same time. That's what I like to do. I like to have thinking with my fun. A lot of people don't. I totally understand that. And there are definitely times when I don't want to think with my fun, for sure. That's what drugs are for. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, if you were out here, if you were in here with me, I would have you. Um, I would have you singing along with me. We would have like this would be a huge sing along. Maybe the next time, uh, the next time I get to do this, I'll remember to put up like the Google doc with the lyrics so you all can sing along um, if you want. 
I would, I would actually love to have, have you singing along. Um, and, uh, oh, hey, wait, hold on. Instagram comment says, oh, hi, Hannah. Where can I find an application to become a heaven's whore with full bennies? I mean, I feel like you kind of have to die first and then you take it up with, um, you know, whatever, whatever omnipotent being you believe in. <laughs> oh, thank you all who are here. Oh, this is, um, I'm imagining your wonderful faces in front of me. I can't actually see them. Um, besides, I'm pretty nearsighted. And if you were here, we would have like this big dark stage. I would have like a, a big dark room where I couldn't see all your faces that well anyway, right? Okay, cool. That makes me feel a little bit better. Ah, so the next one, the next, the next um, Boob Dylan tune that uh, that happened it was it was inspired by and co-written with Andrea Rawson and uh, it made more sense when we did the live show for her to sing it because she's had kids and you're gonna find out why that's made well I'll tell you I'll give you like a little rundown of why it makes sense so uh, a little background of um, this song was inspired by a story I heard about what they call the husband stitch which is apparently what they do when you have a kid. If you have a vaginal birth, they could, uh, I've heard stories and read articles of people who've had their area stitched extra tight after a, after they have the baby. And that's a, it's apparently called the husband stitch because it makes you, um, it, it makes you <laughs> tighter or something. <laughs> and um, I think that's fucked up, like super fucked up. Um, and it's, I don't know if you've, I haven't had any kids, so I've never had to take this risk, but Anne totally had, uh, had to take that risk. And luckily was, was never, you know, subjected to that, that, um, that particular, uh, issue but she she uh volunteered she said she, she was a really good sport in singing the song and she also uh changed some of the words around that i had written and i thought made it a lot better so i don't know if Anne's out there but this one this one goes out to her <laughs> um and uh also like i just want to say like all of the women who've been in the live boob dylan shows so far we've done two of them they're fucking amazing and um i should put i'll put up links to all of all of their stuff too um because i could not have done this whole show without them it was absolutely important so and it, and i i didn't learn all these songs initially on my own i've been learning them over the last week um so if I fuck it up a little bit, please be patient. And uh, yeah, so this song is not Don't Think Twice, It's All Right. But it ain't no use to stitch me up too tight, doc. If you don't know by now Ain't no use to stitch me up too tight, dog Won't do any good anyhow When you and the nurse come in with needle and thread And I'm so exhausted that I might as well be dead Don't you add that extra stitch or you will get punched in the head don't stitch twice that's too tight but ain't no use in saying i'm to blame boy you'll know when you check me in but after i'm done pushing out your kid boy a part of me will need some repairing 
Well, you know I'll be too loopy to know what's going on. So if they try to tighten up my hole, you tell them they're dead wrong. Even if they say it will feel better for your schwang. Don't stitch twice, that's too tight. I'll send you down that long, lonesome road, babe. Don't you think that I won't? If you don't do what I ask, babe, you'll be out in the cold. If I'm doing you the service of birthing you a child, you best make sure the doctor leaves my vulva undefiled. I ain't no virgin and I keep this pussy wild. Don't stitch twice, that's too tight. No, don't stitch twice, that's too tight. <laughs> so here's to Andrea who sang the shit out of that song two years in a row. And I feel like I've had to channel my inner, uh, I've had, had to channel at least one person who's actually had a kid to like really get the feel for for the anger of that song. <laughs> so yeah, uh, cheers friends. So, oh, ah, thanks. Oh, thank you all. Um, and thank you. I've got so, camera one, camera two. I managed to at least put the Instagram uh, feed close, like in the same direction as the Facebook feed this time and the YouTube feed. Oh, thanks, Martin. I'm glad you like this strap. It makes me feel protected. <laughs> What's next? Oh, I'm going to pick up my banjo really quick. Next couple are on the banjo. I did promise some banjo. I haven't been playing a lot of banjo lately. But I feel like these next couple songs really I like the banjo. <laughs> so all right friends what's the next one here all right the next one all right so we all know mr tambourine man we all know that um this song is not mr tambourine man at all not even a little bit this song is written to a different kind of delivery person or a person that we wish would um, deliver some things um, you know, cause sometimes you just, if you really need a, a man to bring you a thing, there are, um, there's certain things that we send them out for, you know, it'd be nice if we could just like call that in. Like if there was instead of the ice cream man or a tambourine man, if there was a person who could help us with our, our feminine issues, Anybody who, anybody who, uh, anybody who has a time of the month, which is not limited to cisgendered women, I know. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to leave anyone out here. And, uh, if you don't know what the Diva Cup is, you don't know why it's so important to have one possibly be able to be delivered to you. But you'll get it eventually. Google that shit <laughs> while I'm playing if you need to. Anyway, so this song is not Hey Mr. Tambourine Man. Hey, Mr. Diva Cup Man, leave one here for me. 
I am bleeding and my tampon hurts the biosphere. Hey, Mr. Diva Cup Man, leave one here for me. In the sixth or seventh morning, I'll be free and clear. Though I hope that I won't have to cancel all my evening plans. This month, it's extra bad. I'm unreasonably sad. I am laid out on my back, but still not sleeping. I can't stop seeing plastic garbage sitting in the dump. I feel like a useless lump, but I'll use the cup and I will make a difference. Hey, Mr. Diva Cup Man, leave one here for me. I am bleeding and my tampon hurts the biosphere. Hey, Mr. Diva Cup Man, leave one here for me. In the sixth or seventh morning, I'll be free and clear. Take me on a trip to the pharmacy right quick. I'm starting to feel sick. My flow's begun to drip. These cramps have got a grip up on my uterus. I'm ready to take anything to make the pain subside. But one thing I can't abide is more damn tampon trash. Hey, Mr. Diva Cup Man, leave one here for me. I am bleeding and my tampon hurts the biosphere. Hey, Mr. Diva Cup Man, leave one here for me. In the sixth or seventh morning, I'll be free and clear. Oh, you might hear laughing, screaming, crying, going on and on. It's not aimed at anyone. It's just my hormones having fun. And if I could control them, I would do it. And if you hear vague curse words coming from my lips because of the aching in my hips, I'll still take my fingertips, fold that little cup and slip it all the way the fuck up my vagina. Hey, Mr. Diva Cup Man, leave one here for me. I am bleeding and my tampon hurts the biosphere. Hey, Mr. Diva Cup Man, leave one here for me. In the sixth or seventh morning, I'll be free and clear. In the sixth or seventh morning, I'll be free and clear. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. <laughs> Well, I hope everyone's having a good time out there in the internet land. So the next one, um, the next song, which is not Tangled Up in Blue. Did I lose anyone out there? I can't tell. Like, I can't tell if people are like dropping, up, dropping like flies as soon as they hear me sing about periods. Um, I think that's the only period song that actually exists <laughs> um, in my in my repertoire for the evening. There's only one period song. Yes, Talia. Yay, Diva Cups. Indeed. Seriously. All right. So everyone, now that the song is done, I just have to say, like, there are many brands. You don't have to only pick the Diva Cup. But it did have the best uh, syncopation. Uh, that I could find. But either way, stop using fucking tampons and get a damn cup so that we don't need to throw a bunch of shit out every month. And besides that, like, we're taxed for tampons. We have to, why should we have to, you know, like, why do we get condoms for free, but we have to pay for tampons? Like, periods happen with way less voluntariness than sex if we're, you know, in an ideal world. 
<laughs> oh, no. Oh, April. No, you're right. I'm just talking about in the Boob Dylan repertoire. I do have multiple period songs, um, actually, totally. But there's only one Boob Dylan period song. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So now we're going to move on from menstruation to, um, to kink. Because, all right. So Tangled Up in Blue... There are a lot of directions we can go with Tangled Up in Blue, but you know, there's an anagram of blue, you know, when you take the letters and you mix them up and you get tangled up in lube and there's endless possibilities for being tangled up in lube, aren't there? Isn't there? So what I'm gonna do really quick here is make sure I have all the words because I've memorized most of them. But you know what? In actual Tangled Up in Blue, the words are a lot. There are a lot of words. There are so many words that Bob actually changes them every fucking time he um, plays it. So, I'm going to just get this right here in front of me just so I don't have to disappoint any of you by fucking up the words. There's a lot of them. Um, so yeah, like, you know, whatever you think when you think of Tangled Up in Lube, that's what this song is for. When you think of being it. Early one evening, the moon was shining. I was making the bed, waiting for my friends to show so the party could get started. Some folks said they'd bring Twister, others said they'd bring wine, and every guest on that list knew to bring some Astro Glide. Cause this ain't just some normal party where people make small talk. We're gonna play some naked games with greased up balls and cocks and boobs tangled up in loop. Some are married and some just met. Some might be divorced. Everybody gives their consent. Nobody needs to be forced. <laughs> We played that game as long as we could till we were a sweaty mess. Some my, my arm is stretched between someone's legs, someone's crotch is in my breast. And pretty soon we'll all fall down in a pile on the floor. If you looked in the window, you wouldn't see much more than skin and pubes tangled up in loo. <laughs> I actually am not the one who normally plays this song. Uh, and uh, when Jackie played it, I uh, I was laughing the whole time because, you know, I had never actually heard the word sung. Uh, and I couldn't believe that, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't think that uh, people would actually accept this song out in the world. But maybe, who knows? Ha ha! Thanks, Bob. I had a job in a great sex store, working as a clerk for a spell. I guess I liked it way too much, there was something about that smell. So I drifted back to the storeroom shelves, where at the, the place where I was employed. Picking up one bottle every day of silicone based joy. And on the days I was alone, my friends were close behind. They'd come in and take off their clothes and empty all the sampler tubes. Tangled up in lube. <laughs> You were working in a topless place and I was slinging beer. But on the nights that we'd have off, our friends would all be here. Later on, when the crowd thinned out, 
Oh, we we all would. (laughs) We all had won the game. We invited all our friends and everybody came. This was not the first time and it won't be the last. So stop on by one of these nights if you've been here in the past or if you're new, tangled up in loo. So now they're coming back again. I got to get some more KY. All the people we used to know, they'll soon be stopping by. Some are into bondage. Some are into other people's wives. We don't know how they got so kinky. I don't know much about their lives. But me, I'll just be setting up until they all arrive. This might not be your kind of fun, but hey, that's just your point of view. Tangled up in lube. (laughs) Thank you and sorry, Bob. I don't know why I'm looking up. He's not dead. I'm just imagining that Bob abides (laughs) everywhere. (laughs) <laughs> all right so friends are you still out there are you still having fun i hope <laughs> this is i think um the best like i don't know i have i've been pretty dang well isolated in this uh during this uh stay at home whatever period and um and I have to say, this live streaming thing has definitely taken some of the edge off because I get to kind of hang out with all of you. And that's kind of great. Um, yeah, I know like a lot of people have like roommates and stuff that they are, <laughs> that they're quarantined with. Um, and I have a really great housemate who has never heard any of my songs. <laughs> um, he's home. Um I, you know, but he's doing his own thing. At one day, maybe I'll let him let him know what I'm what I'm actually up to up here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I wish I could hear you laughing too, Talia. I wish I could hear all of you singing along and laughing and doing all the things that that you do. Oh shit! I just realized I have to grab my kazoo. I threw it earlier by accident when I was practicing this next song. Um, because of course this next song has a kazoo uh, in it. (laughs) And uh, at least for a minute until I throw it, because you know what I haven't gotten yet is a kazoo stand. So we're gonna here, figure this out real quick. When I let go of my kazoo earlier, it flew across the room. So here it is. I don't play harmonica. I do play kazoo. <laughs> um, so in the in the show, in the Boob Dylan show, uh, I I played bass on this song and the amazing Emily Clark sang it. And uh, if you haven't checked out her music, you should for actual real. Um, all of the women who were originally in this uh, show, the, both the first year and the second year, are fucking fabulous performers um, and artists in their own right. And uh, so, yeah, so Emily Clark sang this song initially, and uh, and I played bass and kazoo. <laughs> and uh, so here... Here is a <laughs> here here is a song that is um, not all along the watchtower. Am 
must be some way into your pants. Said some drunken douche to me. You got too many clothes on. I can't get no relief. No reason to get excited. I find this bold. I hate to break it to you, boy, but your lines are nothing but a joke. Sitting on his bar stool, his wild hormones growl. I wouldn't take his number, so he began to howl. Falling on your crotch tower, you think that's what we'll do. But you're not trying hard enough, so you are never screwed. Crouch Tower. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> How many times did Bob get laid from writing from that song, though? Really? How many times? Did he get laid all of the times from all the songs? Oh, hey. So, hey, Instagram friends and Facebook friends all together. I don't mean to neglect anybody. This, this screen is right in front of me. So, you know, I'm going to just focus on this one. Cheers, friends. <laughs> As you can see, because I don't have a kazoo stand, we can only do the kazoo at the beginning of the song. So um, one day, maybe I'll work up like a, I'll get like a like a fucking harmonica thing, but for kazoo, I think you could probably fit one of them. I don't have a harmonica rack. I'm clearly not Bob. <laughs> so. So now let's take it down a notch. Let's just take it down mood wise. And let's move on to a song that is definitely not I Shall Be Released. But which is also about another kind of frustration. You know, we, had, we just covered the crotch tower frustration. So now, uh, now let's cover the, uh, the other side of the coin. Trying from my pelvis to my 
kids are in bed per personally you know I don't want to have to explain this shit to them <laughs> ah well so for those of you just joining us uh wherever from wherever you are I hope you are um I hope you are safe and healthy and I hope that you know that this is a whole set full of Bob Dylan parodies. <laughs> and uh, thank you, listen. I'm glad, I'm glad to be absolved of responsibility for that. Um, think of this set as a um, crash course in sexual education for any kids who do happen to, uh, <laughs> to, be, uh, to be awake still. So, yeah. So I realized I um I missed another I missed one in my my list that I I was um you know that I feel like would be a good one to to slide in right here. Um oh, and I should also tell you that the people who sang this song in the live show that happened in the last couple of years um, Grace Clark and Veronique Van Pelt. Um, they are also amazing musicians. Check them out. Check out their shit. All of the people who were in the original, in the Bob, in the Boob Dylan shows, um, are fucking amazing. And uh, and if you haven't yet seen the link, the donation link tonight, all of I want all of your donations. If you do feel inspired to donate, to go to. Uh, Kaya Cochran's uh, breast cancer treatment fund. She's got to go fund me because we don't have fucking Medicare for all. That should definitely take care of that shit, right? Hmm. So anyway, vote for Bernie and, um, and also support Kaya's uh, fund. And the link is in the description on YouTube and on Facebook and on Instagram. The link is in my bio. And uh, so I hope that you all, uh, I hope that you all give to Kaya 
this evening if you're having a good time and you enjoy this. So what another like fun emotional tune that is not forever young. Not at all. It's sure not. It's sure not. And you're just going to have to imagine the beautiful harp part that was in this, in this, in the, in the, the live show. Anella Lauren is a fabulous harpist and she plays with a group called Fragile Thunder and she's just fantastic. So check her out. And also who else sang this one? I think Kimmy, Kimmy Franco and Andrea Rawson also uh, sang this song. And uh, yeah, so it's definitely not forever young. You'll be able to sing along as soon as you figure out what it is though. May your grapes always be juicy. May your peaches all be ripe. May nobody who holds them need to grumble or to gray. May you build a ladder in your pants so I can climb each rung and may you stay forever. Best wishes to you for that. <laughs> Cheers, friends, friends out there. So, um, <clears throat> oh, give me one second here, Facebook friends, so that I can uh, restart restart the Instagram. Um, feed here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for, for those of you who are out there enjoying this. Um, I fucking love you. I'm really happy that you're here with me virtually and that I'm here with you virtually. And um, yeah, I, you know, I don't know if everyone is as big of a fan of Bob Dylan's songs as I have historically been. Um, however, comma, 
uh, as as you can tell, I uh, I I really take the work of uh, of parodying Bob uh, as seriously as one possibly can because like you know how can you how can you like he, how can you go wrong when Bob wrote so many amazing words and it's so easy to just like, change them just to, just a little bit. So let's see, what have we covered tonight? Um, and oh, and for those of you who haven't been able to see the live show, like when we finally are able to have live shows again, I do plan to make this not only an annual thing, but I want to bring it to different places. Um, because the other motivation for Boob Dylan was because I felt like there are just, there are so many shows um, that we all go to see that just don't have enough women in them at all or non-binary folks or, um, you know, just there's, there's a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes on the stage all the time. And, uh, and so regularly, uh, when there are women around, we tend to have to like, you know, muscle our way out of each other's way and like kind of and not that we have to but we're pressured you know the fucking patriarchy pressures us to push each other out of the way and be the only woman on this stage so i was like you know what let's have a show of all women produced by all women um and support each other and lift each other up and um sing like dirty raunchy kind of gritty songs with each other um that would make ideally bob blush i would love to make bob dylan blush um, ideally that will be able to happen someday. Um, cause I think he probably will outlive most of us. I would be absolutely shocked if I found out that Bob Dylan got the coronavirus. So, and also anyway, so, um, if we ever are able to have live shows again, um, all the women performers I know around the country will be getting called <laughs> and, uh, Ideally, uh, we'll be able to have have some fans together, and uh, and play these songs together, and have benefits for our friends with breast cancer, um, because this has also been the the goal of this show is to raise money for breast cancer um, patients and survivors. Um, you know, for boobs, by boobs. Uh, so this next song. We were speaking a little bit ago of the inability to be released, and this song is inspired by the opposite of that. And it is not It Ain't Me, Babe. Also, if any of you know Mel Melody Walker, I don't know, Melody, if you're out there. I know she played a set earlier uh, today. Um, but Melody Walker was the one who uh, I wrote the first part of this song with. And uh, her band Front Country is fabulous. And you should just, you know, check her out. But yeah, so I was like, I'm writing all these Bob Dylan parodies. And she was like, what about this? And she came out with the title of this song, which I'm not going to give away right now. Um, you're going to figure it out real quick. Uh, and uh, and it is, it is inspired by a phenomenon that um, not everybody gets to experience. But it is a beautiful thing when it does happen. And uh, if Shanna, Shanna in a dress is out there, she and I do, uh, duetted this song during the uh, um, live version of the show, the actual live version of the show. And she's uh, a wonderful duetist and also a fabulous performer. Every person whose name I drop during this set, check out their fucking music. It's great. Anyway, so this song is not It Ain't Me Babe. Go away from my mattress We've got a big mess to clean I came hard like you want, babe But then you thought I'd peed You say you're looking Looking for some woman who will come each time you fall. Then you act so disgusted each time that I get off. 
Cause my love for you is dripping on the floor. But it ain't pee, babe. No, 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 it ain't pee, babe. It ain't pee I'm squirting for, babe. Go and get a towel, babe. Grab one off the ground. Lay it on the bed, babe. If you do me right, the whole thing will get drowned. You say you're looking for some woman who will come each time you bone. Well, this girl's got you covered, babe, covered from head to toe. No, don't wipe it up yet, baby, here comes more, but it ain't pee, babe. No, 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 it ain't pee, babe, it ain't pee I'm squirting for, babe. Come back to my bed, babe. I'll pull up some porno on my phone. We'll wrap it up in plastic to protect it from the load we're gonna blow. I see you looking closer now as the camera zooms right in. She lets out a moan, and then there's something on his chin. Like I've done to you so many times before, but it ain't pee, babe. No, 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 it ain't pee, babe. It ain't pee I'm squirting for, babe. It ain't pee. Babe, no, 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 it ain't pee, babe. It ain't pee I'm squirting for, babe. If the kids are not in bed, good luck explaining. <laughs> Cheers, friends. <laughs> <laughs> the comments are lagging and I can't hear you or see you. So I hope that you're having fun with these songs. I'm basically just like, I'm just hoping. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Deb. Thank you. Drew. Okay. I like when you, when you, uh, when you tell me with words and emojis, I know, then I know, then I get to know. Um, otherwise I just imagine, I imagine your beautiful faces out there and I imagine you singing along. It ain't pee, babe. Um, I would like you all to be singing along at home loudly, like with gusto, with feeling, um, because it ain't pee. No, it ain't. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you all. Ah, oh, so let's see what's next. So the first, one of the first songs I learned to play, um, in general on an instrument at all when I first started playing an instrument um, was <laughs> was uh, the 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 next song is it, it, I first learned to play you ain't going nowhere uh, it's got three chords it was super easy and I learned it um, and this next song is not uh, you ain't going nowhere <laughs> oh thank you listen and hearty oh man thank you sarah and drew oh and Deb. so yeah all of you out there like i freaking love you for being here and uh tuning into this weird set of music that i have uh i've concocted um 
So, yeah, this next song is not uh, You Ain't Going Nowhere at all. It's not, no. Um, Daniela Ketzier and I initially sang this song for the first Boob Dylan. And, um, you know, she's a fantastic guitar player. And so I had her play. I think I played a little bit. I think I played ukulele as well. Um, and uh, who played it with me last year? Did I do it by my, no, who did I? Uh, I'm so sorry. I can't remember offhand. Um, but anyway, we decided that, you know, you ain't going nowhere was fine, but we should, um, we should have a song about another issue that comes up, which is, um, you know, salon, salon incidents. Sometimes you have a bad incident at a salon where they do something that you don't, um, want them to do. And uh, this song is sort of that story. Um, I'm not going to keep introducing it. Grows so thick, wrecked your bick, even shows right through your clothes. You don't mind in winter time when you ain't showing no hair. Ooh, wax your thighs. Tomorrow's the day your date's gonna come. Oh, will she be surprised? You ain't showing no hair. Visited the salon today to get cleaned up and be on your way. But that's not what the waxer heard you say. Now you ain't showing no hair. Ooh, wax your thighs. Tomorrow's the day your date's gonna come. Oh, will she be surprised? You ain't showing no hair. Now you're feeling cold and bare underneath your underwear. Till it all grows back down there, you ain't showing no hair. Ooh, wax your thighs. Tomorrow's the day your date's gonna come. Oh, will they be surprised? You ain't showing no hair. Ooh, wax your thighs. Tomorrow is the day your date's gonna come. Oh, will she be surprised when you ain't showing no hair? <laughs> I didn't tell you this wasn't gonna be some silly shit, right? I told you this was gonna be some silly shit. Silly, silly shit. Cheers. <laughs> Are we all ready to go into a little bit of obscure, Bob? I don't know if you all know Buckets of Rain. Do you know Buckets of Rain? Buckets of rain, buckets of tears. Got all them buckets coming down from my ears. Got buckets of moonbeams in my hand. You got all the love, honey, baby, I can stand. That's how it goes when Bob plays it. It's not how it goes now. No, no. Buckets of Rain has made way for a different kind of song. Um, an ode, if you will, to BDSM. Mm -hmm. 
buckets of pain, buckets of tears. Got metal buckets hanging down from my ears. I got buckets of concrete chained to my hands. You got all my love, but nobody understands. tweaked up and tenderly choked. I've had pretty people tie me up with rope. You fasten my handcuffs and then you disappear. If you want me, honey and baby, I'll be shackled here. of your fingertips I like the way that you clamp my nips I like the creative way you punish me Feels so good when you bring me misery But we know what we like I like the way you torture me Strong and slow Leave me some bruises Honey, baby, when you go Give you my safe word, then do what you must. I said, do what you must do and leave a well. I do it for you, honey baby, with my belt. Buckets of pain, buckets of tears. Got metal buckets hanging down from my ears. I got buckets of concrete chained to my hands. Well, you got all my love, but nobody understands. I say that you got all my love, but nobody understands. Here's to all you uh, bonded people out there and uh, all my best to you doing what you do. I'm sure you, you know, have plenty of songs that you like, but, you know, hopefully that's also one. <laughs> so I don't know what you all are drinking or eating this evening. Maybe you're sober, maybe you're not. I'm not. The great thing about performing at home instead of at a bar is that you can bring your own whiskey and, um, you know, sip it liberally. Oh, thank you. Thank you to, the, to uh, those of you who are out there in internet land helping me feel less alone than I normally do on top of a mountain playing songs for myself. Cheers to all of you. Pretty much every song I play includes a toast to whoever the fuck is out there. So, cheers. And for those of you who are, um, you know, having a few drinks with your Sunday evening, um, you know, I feel like we're all kind of loosened up at this point, right? Aren't we? I think we are, right? I'm, I'm pretty pretty chill at this point. Oh, hi, Ed. 
Yes, and cheers. And and I and for the delay, the comment lag or whatever, you know, thing I'm freaking happy that the internet exists and that we have the technology to do this. Uh even and and if the comments lag a little bit, that's like the smallest of prices to pay, right? Um, so if it takes me a minute to to notice y'all out there. Also, I'm sitting a little bit further away from the screen than I normally do, but I'll I'm doing my best to see all of you because it's like the next best thing to hearing you. Um, I've got a few more of these for you. And uh, maybe, maybe, maybe three, maybe four. We'll see. There's one that I haven't learned all the words uh, that well yet. And, uh, you know, we'll get there. Maybe it'll be a goal for the next one. But this next song, um, in the live performance of the show, the first time, um, I was blessed with the talents of Enyan Peltatiller, who is a fabulous um, musician, and she and her uh, band Tarka are awesome, and you should check them out. And she played some beautiful violin on this song. So you're going to have to imagine that. Just imagine. Imagine beautiful violin. This song is for um, all the polyamorous folks out there and the uh, wonderful swinger types. And, uh, you know, y'all needed a song, right? song is not I'll be your baby tonight. It's not. I'm sorry. Close your eyes. Close the door. You've got my man, I've got yours. I'll see your baby tonight and shut the lights, lose your care. We'll do our thing, they'll do theirs. I'll see your baby tonight. Well, monogamy is gonna fade away. Oh, we're gonna forget it. Some people hate the way we date, but they'll never get it. We won't regret it. Kick your shoes off in my house. When you're sleeping with my spouse. Monogamy's gonna fade away But we're gonna forget it Some people hate the way we date But they'll never get it We won't regret it Kick your shoes off In my house When you're sleeping with my spouse and I'll see your baby tonight Oh yeah, I'll see your baby tonight
Cheers to the swingers. <laughs> and all of you wonderful people out there in the internet land, whatever your proclivities are. I see you're cheersing. Yay. Hey, hey, Instagram friends. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I've got a couple, uh, couple few, a couple more for you. Two more for you. How about that? Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for the, for the emoji applause. It's like, you know, I, I just, I'm just trusting that all of your hearts are, you know, generally happy out there or else you would, you know, click away from this. So, but, um, it's not the same, you know, I really miss, uh, playing songs for people in person. I think every other musician I know is in that boat and like all the performers, especially the stand up comics. Holy shit. Like, Oh my God. Like, how do you even do comedy? Like I, I give mad respect to my comedian friends out there who are doing comedy without an audience or like with some kind of time delay lag or whatever the hell. <sighs> shit crazy so so all of the songs so far have been kinky and sexy and weird or at least uh, empowering in some way so this this next one is not one that i had necessarily intended to write i hadn't thought about it but when i asked um megan letts if she was interested in being in the show, her band is Mama Magnolia. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. Um, she asked me if I had written a parody for Just Like a Woman. And I said, no, I haven't. But I will because you're great. And I would love to, uh, to have to do that for you. And so she did. I, I did, and she did, and then uh, last year, Maya Bennett uh, played this song. Um, she's also fabulous. Check out Maya Bennett. And, uh, yeah, so this is, I think, the only kind of uh, serious song that I've written. There's no punchline in this song. Uh, or that I've written for this particular show. And, uh, but I was really happy that Megan asked me to do this because, um, you know, I think I'm pretty, I, I felt like there were, there was a, some kind of sub subconscious part of me that wanted to write this song. Nobody doesn't feel pain, but a boy never gets to complain. Everybody knows that he is not supposed to ever, ever let his feelings show. It's no wonder how his rage unfurls. Let him ache just like a woman. Yeah, we should let him quake just like a woman. Yeah, we should let him show love just like a woman. Or he'll take it out on the whole damn world. See, Mary, she is my friend. And her boyfriend is beating her again. Nobody has to guess. It's cause he's been depressed. But still, he won't go and see a therapist. 
Cause he says that shit is just for girls. Let him ache just like a woman. Yeah, we should let him quake just like a woman. Yeah, we should let him show love just like a woman. Or he'll take it out on the whole damn world. It's been draining from the first time that he got hurt and hurt, boy, dry your tears. And that made him hurt worse. He's been cursed since near birth to repress his fears for years and years. Well, ain't it clear that he just can't quit I'm treating people everywhere like shit nobody knows when he'll blow up at his friends when he'll let out what he's been stuffing in and he'll blame it on us girls let him ache just like a woman yeah we should let him quake just like a woman yeah we should let him show love just like a woman or we'll take it out he'll take it out on the whole damn world So cheers, boys have feelings too. How about that? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Kat. Oh, thank you all out there who are still hanging in. I don't um, still know, um, you know, it's in, in a crowd, of, in a room, in a crowd, you can see people and you can hear them. You can tell if someone leaves and someone comes in. Um, but I don't know um, necessarily. I'm just really happy that those of you who are here are here. And um, and yeah, if you like this stuff that I'm doing, um, I've got one more song before I'm done with this. If you like this uh, set, these Boob Dylan songs, <laughs> um, feel free to share. I mean, this video stays up on the internets, I guess, like forever, unless I take it down. Feel free to share it around and please uh, donate to Kaya Cochran's uh, uh, breast cancer treatment fund. The link is in my bio on Instagram and it's in the uh, caption of the video uh, that you're watching here. If you're watching on your Facebook um, and I think also on YouTube, So I'm going to take you out with a fun song. And, uh, and if you want me to do this again at some point, like, let me know, you know, like I'll do it again. I, I'm not going anywhere. A lot of us are not going anywhere. <laughs> and um, ideally, you know, we'll be able to do this all like for realsies in person again. I would love to bring this show with a, a full cast. Like I, I really like part of the, the wonderful thing about producing this show twice so far has been all of the amazing women I've had a chance to work with and, um, and have community with and solidarity and all of that stuff. It's like the, the better we can, um, you know, we can empower each other. I think the better off we all are. So, um, yeah, so that's why pretty much all of these songs, uh, these all these songs have all been 
performed by all women and mostly written by all women. Um, I would say the one exception, really, this song that I'm about to play for you, this it's the finale in the in the uh, live show, and it's got all kinds of shenanigans that in, are involved with it. Had a really wonderful burlesker named Like a Fox, who you uh, should, should also love and appreciate. And also Emily Duffy last year did some burlesque for this song. Um, and uh, yeah, it it's um, it's it's really we we shenaniganed hard for this next song, um, but it was initially. Uh, this song, I was like, I was sitting at, at a coffee shop in Lyons, Colorado, which I lived in that town for until very recently. And um, I was sitting there with my notebook and my friend uh, Dan Rodriguez showed up and was, I was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I am thinking of dirty uh, Bob Dylan songs to write. Dirty, dirty Bob Dylan parody titles. Uh, for a show called Boob Dylan. And I explained it to him and he is a fantastic songwriter um, on his own merit. And he suggested, he was like, oh, well, how about if not for boobs? And I was like, Daniel, thank you. <laughs> so um, I think he's the only, the only dude who has inspired a Boob Dylan song. So thank Dan uh, if you like this song. If not for booze, babe, you might look at my face instead of staring at the place where your eyes are always glued. If not for boobs If not for boobs Babe, I might not wear a bra Might not wear a shirt at all Or maybe one you could see through If not for boobs If not for boobs, I would stand so tall I'd get eye contact too If not for boobs, I'd get no cat calls Life would be awesome without boobs Yeah, you know it's true If not for boobs Babe, my step would have more swing Without these goddamn bouncing things Just to fuck it up my groove I get eye contact too. Without my boobs, I get no cat calls. I would be awesome without boobs. Yeah, you know it's true. If not for boobs, you know my step would have more swing. Without these goddamn bouncing things, just to fucking up my groove. Buy me booze if not for booze. If not for booze. If not for booze. If not for booze. If not for boobs. <laughs> Cheers, friends. This isn't the live show or else I would have had someone take my ukulele so I could pull this fancy thing off and uh, throw it into the crowd. And uh, that's why you have to come to the live show when we have a chance to do that again. Um, I hope very much that you've all enjoyed all of the Boob Dylan songs, all of the parodies that um, I have 
uh, birthed from my brain and <laughs> handed to you just now. And <laughs> cheers to boobs and uh, to Bob and to all of the women who have participated in this show. Because honestly, without all of them, I um, I don't know that it would have happened. I don't know that I would have just like been boob Dylan on my own. Like this is a weird thing. I really prefer to have a whole crew um, performing with me. That's the best. The best I think. Um, all of the all of the boob energy is the shit. Um, so when we're all done being locked down. Uh, I would love to uh, to do more of this. And if you're a woman performer out there, which I know some of you are, um, and you want to participate in a Boob Dylan show and you want to sing any of these songs, fucking please do. You're welcome. I'm down. I want to have you in my show. And uh, and this and I hope that you're donating to Kaya's. Um, Treatment fund for boobs by boobs. That's what Boob Dylan is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so thank you very much for being here and for listening and watching and singing along because I hope that you're all singing along. I'm going to imagine that you are. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll do another live set at some point. Maybe these songs, again, if, if y'all if y'all want them. And otherwise I have got lots and lots of other songs that I will probably be playing. Please continue to support all of your performing artist friends out there in internet land. Um, these are hard times. I feel pretty lucky to not be struggling as hard as many. Um, so please, you know, continue to support everybody you see out there playing songs for you and doing comedy and doing whatever the fuck um you all do and um oh thank you thank you thank you thank you for singing along and cheers and uh thanks for giving me motivation to learn all these songs that normally I only play a few of and I let other people play the rest of so uh thank you for for being you and for being wonderful and I will now say good night and uh you know feel free to heckle me in other ways until the next time. <laughs> uh, much love to all of you. Stay safe, stay healthy and uh, go boobs. You all rock. You rock too. You rock, you rock. And I'm sorry that I can't see the YouTube people, but I, I trust that you also rock. Thank you. And thanks be to Bob or wherever he's, if he was dead, he'd be in hell. Let's be real. Because <laughs> that's where all the cool people go. All right. Take care, everyone. Love you. Mwah. Mwah.